Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a USA themed painting. You know, uh, I love the USA. I live in the USA. Um, I've been here all my life. I have gone outside the country a couple times, but uh, been in, in the United States uh, the majority of my life. And I would like to travel, but it's just not in the plans right now. But anyway, so I love red, white, and blue. Um, so I've done this pour before. So I've got the bald eagle, American eagle, right there. And so I've done this pour before with the same, not this, this isn't the one I did on the first one, but it's, it's exactly the same as the first one I did. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm going to do a blue background with the red, white stripes coming out the back. It's going to be a swipe technique. And since it's a swipe technique, I'm going to use silicone tonight. Now, I usually don't use silicone uh, hardly at all anymore. And, but I do, do, do use it in my swipes. So I've already mixed the paints. So I've got blue, which I used Artist Loft Blue. I've used red, which is Artist Loft Red, and the white is also Artist Loft White. And the silicone is just a can of spray silicone. And I got this probably at Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. You can find that. But if you want to go to Walmart and get something that will create cells and I didn't use it on this one but this is uh, called coconut milk and so and it smells like coconut oh love coconut so I do use that at times um, you do not need very much of that that really creates a lot of big cells so um, but I used the spray in it and I just used it in the blue and the red. The white, I never do silicone in, and also the black, I never do it in. But those are the only two colors that I do not use silicone in ever. And so <clears throat> I've already got it mixed, so all I've got to do is um, move my camera, and I've got my canvas set, and I'll level it, and we'll get ready to go. All right, I've adjusted my camera. Got my canvas on here. Let me level it real quick. I um, before I came before I could start painting tonight, I had to unpack everything because I had a class today. I did my first class, my paint pouring class, and it went really well. Um, so I took a lot of my utensils, my tools, my level. A lot of my paint so I had to put all the paints back up and and then I just had to go find some uh, paper towels I don't know what I could have swore I put the boxed up my paper towels but they weren't in the box tonight and I didn't realize it till I started painting I was like I need paper towels I had to go get some paper towels good thing I had this more we did use a lot today it was fun it was a small class, uh, which I, since it was my first class and they're just starting stuff like that there, I didn't expect to have a ton of people and the, the space that they have for it. Um, they had said I could probably have up to 12 to 13 people originally. And yeah, now we're like after today and. They were like, yeah, maybe just six should be the max. But we had four today. Um, so it was a good time. Um, I knew three of the people that took the class. Uh, Mary and Jamie, who own the... The... Gilded Nest that, so they, they took the class. There's a couple people that did a no-show or did, wasn't able to make it, let's put it that way. There's, and uh, so they took the class as well, set in on it. 
So, and then Rex, or I think I've told, told, uh, told you about Rex. I did a commission piece for him. I met him up at the Elwood Glass Festival. And we correspond back and forth via email now and then. And so he took the class. He was excited about taking the class when I told him, originally I told him about it. So he took the class today. So we get to see Rex today. Hey Rex, I'm sure you're watching this video. I think he's the only one that's watched all of my videos. If you've watched all my videos, comment below. Hey, I watch your videos, all of them. But so, <clears throat> I had that class today, so I had to unpack everything. I, not everything, but a lot of stuff. I didn't take everything I have. That's, that'd be way too much stuff. But. but we had a lot of fun. We... We had some laughs, and they all did really great. All their pieces turned out really good. So I will say that a lot of people do paint pouring in their first ones, because these were all first-time paint pours. And a lot of people, on their very first pour, it does not go well. And that was one worry I had, because... I know that there are people that are not going to have good paint pours. I mean, it's just, it just happens. It happens to the best of us. I have paintings that still that <clears throat> do not turn out well. So that was my biggest fear going into it was that none of them would have a good painting. Not so much that I, it would hurt my ego. No, I want them to have a, I wanted them to create a beautiful piece, um, and they all did. So I was happy with that. So let's see. We're going to do, we're going to leave us, we'll put red and white stripes down here, and then we'll swipe it. But I want to leave blue in, in between. But I want to put white. All right, so I'm going to put him here. So I'm going to measure. I'm going to leave a little mark. Right there where the wing should be, the wing span. That way I can tell where to start. The, I think I'm just going to do a red there. And red there. I do one down the middle. I'm getting my white ready, so hold on a second. I think I'm going to stir this up a little bit, so hold on a second. The reason I'm stirring it up is it's been in a, it's a little, it's in a little uh, cup that has a lid on it. Now what I'm going to do with this one as well is I'm going to put white across the top. And I'll explain that here in just a second why I'm doing that. So the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to get, I want some white all along it. Now, there's a couple ways you can swipe. And I started to tell this in the class when I was explaining the swipe one. And I only got so far and then I got so distracted by something. Sidetracked, which happens to me a lot. So, um, I was just telling them about it using a damp paper towel. There are other things other than the damp paper towel that you can use. Uh, you can use a piece of paper, you can use plastic, you can use this, which is, I think, is probably what I'm going to do. Um, so, 
and it's just about the right length on that. Eh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will do it with damp paper towel. All right, so bear with me. I'm just trying to, I got the, my little water bottle. I'm trying to get it damp. I don't want, you don't want it soaked in water. You just need it dampish. Actually, like a little spray bottle where you spray a mist. It probably works the best. But I just don't have a spray bottle back here. So I'm going to try to do my best to get it damp, but not soaked. All right, so we got it damp and not soaked. So you just lay it on there. And then you just drag it. Try to put this somewhere where I can get it later. Now, one tip I have for some swipes, if you do a lot of swipes, um, if you need to find something to swipe with, um, this is kind of messy, but I find these paint samples, you know, you go to the paint department like a Walmart or, or all your big box uh, stores, and they have these free sample cards for, you know, your different colors. For this one's for Glidden. <clears throat> and I just take them and uh, so that's what I use a lot of times. So I was gonna swipe here, but this seems to have, I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of a swipe on the rest of this just to get it. You would have your your eagle here. It's a little wider than what I wanted, but that's all right. So there you have it. You got your red, white, and blue. This white probably will sink some. A lot of cells that silicone does all oh, right in there this one is just beautiful with cells this one is pretty good not as good as this one I think but there you go now one thing we could do let's see I'm just gonna turn it in a little bit So I'll probably put it about right there. So there you have it. That's a quick swipe. And uh, we'll have a nice looking piece. When this dries, we will, um, since I've used silicone on this before I resin it, you either need to um, uh, 
clean it, which there's some, don't take my word on cleaning it because I've never actually cleaned any of mine. What I do is I spray a gloss enamel over it. So I kind of seal the painting with gloss enamel. So it, because silicone will mess up your resin. It will actually separate your resin and it won't, you'll have big, big craters that don't have silicone in them, or excuse me, don't have resin in them where the silicone is. So you will lose, uh, it'll look terrible. So what I do is I seal this with a gloss enamel and then when that dries, that's when I resin it and I haven't had any problems yet. So uh, that's what I'll be doing when this one is done. I will seal it with the, the gloss enamel before I resin it. So, but it'll be done here before the show, definitely. And uh, we'll have another killer piece. All right, this is dried. I have put a really good coat of gloss enamel on this to seal it so that the, uh, the silicone that I use will not affect the resin. Fingers crossed, it hasn't yet. Again, I'm using Pro Marine resin. This is a 10 by 20 canvas, so it takes seven ounces of resin. I actually have more than seven ounces in here because I got a painting over here to the left of me that I'm gonna also resin. It's a 12 by 12 canvas. That takes five ounces of resin. So I would, my camera messed, or I might, actually my storage on my iPhone quit on, or fill, filled up when I was, videotaping the other painting so I don't have to film this but I'm gonna um, start with this one and then go to the other one and get enough on here take it down to about what I need and then I'm gonna pause it all right so we're gonna cover this one up with resin I always just use the one glove. It's easiest to spread it with your hand, I have found. And you can get all the edges, just everything real fast. It spreads it fast. And this is a self-leveling resin, so you won't have to worry about it showing the streaks of like, right like that on there. It will level out. play button or the record button <clears throat> all right let's get these bubbles popped real fast now this is my second eagle one i probably mentioned that earlier in the video but this is my second eagle one it did sell pretty well or pretty fast and so i didn't have it for a real long time uh so I think it didn't last past my first first event I had after I painted it. And uh, so I'd like to have another one. And I have found here lately, there are some times that I don't want to come down here and paint. I don't want to do these things, you know, not in the mood. Just want to relax, have a rough day at work or whatever. And I find that actually this kind of relaxes me a little bit. Ouch. 
and uh, sometimes I get some fairly good paintings out of the out of the ones when I do not feel like coming down here and painting. So that makes you feel good because you you pushed back that you pushed back that feeling of just not wanting to do anything. And for me, that's a big win because sometimes I can procrastinate about stuff. And it's usually silly little piddly stuff that doesn't take very long to do. And uh, I just put it off. And An example of that recently was we bought a new vehicle and we had a 45 day tag on it. So I, um, and it didn't have a, I kind of, this is kind of a small excuse. It's not the excuse, but it's kind of a small excuse, but it didn't have the paper tag on it. Like they used to in the old days with the 30 day tag. It had the date that it's good till. Now, if I'd have seen that, if I had that visual to remind me, I would have, I would have remembered the day I bought it. I couldn't even remember the day I bought it. I actually thought it was about two weeks later than when I actually bought it. And so I ended up going past the 45 days, ended up going past 60 days. I could have done it online and I didn't. And so I had to go to one of the branch offices and then it probably wasted a couple hours in there doing it. And it was a $15 late fee fine for that, but which isn't bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. But So that's uh, cost me a couple hours and $15 for procrastinating getting my vehicle registered, my new vehicle registered. So this is where we're going to put the, the bird, the eagle. So it's going to go right there. So that looks good on there. All right. So that looks good. So if you would, please hit the like button on this. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And as always, leave comments. Let me know what you think. If you think this is a, a good piece or not. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.